Hi guys, um, thanks for joining me. Just a quick like, update of what's going on in the world. You probably see it, that like, Israel is under attack. The woman, Israel, who gives birth to the man-child, who gave birth to Jesus Christ, Israel, the Jews, are under attack. Now, like I mentioned in my previous videos as we go back, the man-child could not be of caught up to the throne. Because when he is, and um, when he is, Satan is cast down. Satan cannot be of cast down because I've seen him flying with his wings. Uh, well, heard him, felt him flying with his wings in August 2020. So this is the point we're at right now. Satan can't be thrown down until the woman Israel brings forward the man-child. And how can she bring forward the man-child? Well, one way is the fulfillment of that scripture. It says in, I believe it's Matthew 23, um, you will Jerusalem, Jerusalem, talking to the Jews and Israel. And he stood on the temple mount inside of the city, walls inside of the city. Now that can only be complete at this time in human history, 2000 years later, here we are. But uh, 190 years ago, the city walls were begun to be built. Okay, that was the beginning of the 70 weeks of Daniel and then the city was rebuilt and now it still stands to this day. All that's left is for the temple mount, uh, the temple. But Jesus said this on the temple mount. So one way the Jews could bring forward the second coming of Jesus even, not by mentioning his name, but by that scripture that says, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now I've covered this in another video, so I don't have to go into it. As, as of when this could happen, I mean, at this moment where Israel is just uproared, upheavaled, it's, it, this is the time where this thing can come to pass. I'm not going to say it is, but you've got to prepare to be, for it to be fulfilled because Israel has been quiet for the last many months, even years, even. We have never seen up, upheaval like this for years. And at this time where we're waiting on the man-child to be, like I've told you, the man-child cannot have been caught up to the throne. And for the man-child to be caught up to the throne and for Israel to bring about that, that um, coming up to the throne, let's say, first the angel has to cry out from heaven, Who is worthy to take the book and to loose the seals, seven seals thereof? And it says, no man in heaven, nor on earth, nor under the earth was found worthy. But then after John stops crying, he says, the lamb's there, with, it, like he'd been killed, slain. The Lamb, Jesus Christ. But, you know, moments ago, he was not found. That's because, like I explained in one of my other videos, it's just like the first coming. They were in a manger, and no one knew where they were, public. And Herod knew, didn't know, know where they were. It's exactly the same. The woman was give birth to Jesus in 2017 Rosh Hashanah that's a great sign in the heavens but you have to imagine it like they're in a manger in the heavens because you know like I said Satan was with me um, in August 2020 he had his wings and everything else and I was thinking you still ain't found that man child then have you so that man-child must be still revealed 
until that part of scripture the woman brings forward. And who's the woman? Israel. The same woman that gives birth to Jesus, the Jew. The same woman that will flee into the wilderness when the abomination of desolation is set up from the face of the serpent. And she will stay there for three and a half years. Just like the woman of the first coming, Mary, who was a Jew from Israel, fled into the wilderness and Egypt and stayed there for three and a half years until uh, Herod was dead and everything else. So this is a prime time on which this prophecy can be fulfilled because Israel is actually upheaval at the moment. Um, so watch this space, watch the Temple Mount. is the most important thing as well. Now, Prophet Justin has always uh, also been under attack, mainly from Facebook, who trying to contain me that I'm not spreading these prophecies and these words and spreading the finishing of my work because I'm pretty much complete in all my work, my different chapters of End of the Age, uh, illustration book, video sermons. PowerPoint presentations of them. They've actually gone uh, on live today with downloadable links, uh, or viewable links, so you can view them on um, online. Or you can download them as a PowerPoint and presentate them to your ministry, your church. So they've gone up today, well, probably complete them today. So I'm near enough done, you know, on my works that's for preparation that for, um, but you know, I have ideas about, I was going to go to India to prophesy in Pakistan for a short time. I was, in, I'm in covenant with God that I will go around the UK prophesied but that only happens when the first seal is open and the Antichrist is crowned and that I would come back here to the safety of my mountain Conway in Snowdonia before the sixth seal hits extinction level event and for the coming of our Lord over on his throne with the Lamb of God Jesus Christ sitting at his right hand um, but as for now yeah uh, trying to share things but then Facebook's putting bans on me they put like 30 day ban on me and I mean there's just a pain in the arse I mean it's just the worst social media for stuff like that but then it's the best social media because everyone all Joe blogs is, seem to use it basically but uh, yeah, they put a 30 day ban. I've got about three weeks left on that ban on a personal account. And now they're trying to put a ban on the ministry page sharing articles. It's just all over the show that you can't actually say, right, freely I'm gonna share this, that, you know, freely I'm gonna share this. But, you know, from anguish comes, you know, from downtime and depression I've learned in the past comes a revelation straight after. And if it's hard times now, Facebook trying to push, 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 there's going to be a massive release. Because I know God God is in control of all of all the airwaves as well. That time when I was in uh, contending with Satan and I was sharing things afterwards, it was just like bang, bang, bang. And they were going straight through, you know, and it was like, whoa, I can't believe, I, I can't believe Facebook have not just flagged me up. And I was able to share to all these groups without even any hassle. So I know that something's going on compare my situation with them what's going on in Israel and it's definitely a time to be awake and sober so I just want to keep this short 
watch Israel, if they step on that temple mount and say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the man child will be revealed in heaven and then caught up to God's throne. Satan will try to stop it and be cast down as Barack Obama and Jesus will go to the throne and there'll be celebrations in heaven and on earth. And on earth. And then he'll go to be in opening the seven seals. whether there be a delay or whether they happen immediately, we'll only be able to tell when that young prince um, is, goes to take the throne of David in London. So uh, God bless you all anyway. I've been Pastor Prophet Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. And have a good uh, weekend and Shabbat Shalom. Keep the Sabbath day holy always, wherever you are. Sundown Friday to Saturday sundown, wherever you are. Keep that in mind. Amen.